Hey everyone, Commander Devin Lionheart. You know, 001 and C next gen. Next we got Art. I'm G-O-E-X-E. Uh, sorry for my mouth not moving. I'm currently like using a tracking software that I'm calling through a Discord call. Hello everyone. I'm Ashi Williams, you know, see you use that word. Uh, Gio is still working on one segment he wants to do, but in the long run, like, we're here to give y'all a little bit of a status update, uh, with, like, everything going on, right? You, so, uh, Commander, why don't you look out from here? So, uh, yeah, we want to give a status update on a couple of projects. So, uh, number one, see next gen in, um, next episode, starring, like, me, Rachel, and, uh, you know, the VTuber of Taka or not, with that of the uh, voice changer that will have Loki. You see over there, like, right over here, um, the far left, you know, over there, is uh, Rachel's designs, uh, the civilian outfit, and then you, you got the bedroom slash beach design. Uh, one of my... <laughs> Product achievements of a VTuber uh, design a little bit. But, uh, yeah, so she'll be there along with, like, uh, uh, my own version of Taka or not, like, VTuber made. Uh, through Vroid Studios. Uh, this was made for one reason, to, uh, avoid any more copyright bullshit from, like, other VTubers. After the Yumiko incident, as far as I know, Mary Weatherly didn't give a crap about, like, the animation. I contacted him on Twitter slash X, and he's never contacted me back. So he must be okay with it. He must not have a problem. Uh, meaning that bigger VTubers can actually take a compliment. So this one's going to have Taka Arnott's uh, model made through Vroid Studio. I'm also making a model of Mary Weatherly for this animation. My own version of Mary Dog. You know, Mary we Weather Media. To avoid any more copyright claim issues. Uh, I'm still using the same voice changer for Mary Weatherly, as I think it fits the character pretty nice, and like the, uh, you know, sound of a different Mary Weatherly in another universe. But uh, also, I want to mention that the Seed News Network is off to you, Ashi. Right, thank you. Um, we'll admit, Seed News Network's taking a bad seat right now for this new animation. This one's taking a while, as the scripting process just got completed. Uh, like the next season, whose network and the editing process from the audio editing to video editing and all that done by hey, well, you, Commander. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I, I will admit, uh, I do a lot of the work. I mean, in the long run, uh, you think overall, like, there would be more in development, or at least for the new year. A lot of the v white artists kind of like left the scene, so we're working with like all the old stuff that is for free. A lot of it's purchase only, and that's the real good stuff. It's kind of really sad there's not a lot of free stuff, but uh, yeah, I still haven't decided one segment I wanted to go with, so in the long run, we're gonna see what's gonna happen. Right now, I'm just the endless voice in the void of the announcer uh, from here on out and until like things are done, and uh, looking forward to it. Now, as uh, far as like things are going on on other projects, uh, these two are mainly our main focus at this point in time. Like, I'm planning to return to streaming like this Friday on Pal World. Um, all in all, like, a lot of these things have been going down in such a fashion that right now we got to focus on, like, streaming and the content creation and, like, hopefully, like, me and Geo can show up on, like, a live stream soon together. But his life is really busy and hectic, taking care of, like, his two little siblings. Uh, they mean the world to this guy. Uh, I'm going to be real. Like, how, how do you deal with that stuff? I mean, Geo, come on. Come on. How do you deal with two little munchkins everywhere? Wow, um, just, you wonder why I'm not very much of a people person. Uh, yeah, you, you gotta wonder, like, obviously, like, you know, how does a big brother take care of, like, a 15-year-old little brother 
and then with an eight-year-old little sister, and while his parents are over in Hades saving lives, and then you got the grandparents that are literally just been put in a uh, old people's home for like the mentally uh, old disabled because they have a gambling addiction. I'm gonna do real lights really, really, really hard, and I did just like I mean you know what I've been through, like and people actually had a clue of what you've been through, like. Is incredible that you got out of this situation. Kind of like me when I was like a little kid with my parents and own grandparents getting out of Russia from like a Russian gulag. Like, don't even get me started with that. Those things were still a thing in like in the early 90s and late 80s. And they were literally decommissioned somewhere around like the late 1990s, 2000s. I can't exactly remember. It was a long time ago. Yeah, it uh, does concern me. You know, with that. But in the long run, Gio, you're actually doing quite well for yourself. And you're taking care of your little brothers and sisters. You're actually a really good older brother. You're literally pulling two jobs, one day job and one night job. You barely get any sleep and you're here doing videos and sometimes live streams. And compared to me, you're like, I, I gotta deal with a psychopathic ex boyfriend. I mean, the way he is. An absolute psychopath, and my commander's been really, really helpful and kind and generous, you know, like, you need good life advice, and you just feel so much knowledge on my commander, I mean, from your, like, time is a corn, um, you know, archiver, and then you got your UVO career <laughs> that Larry got hacked and taken away from you, and now you're a VTuber, like, You've been around the spectrum around the block more than once, and like obviously, you show your knowledge and your wisdom online more so than you do in like, in like real life wisdom. I mean, you're very, very smart and cheeky, and like we can't thank you enough for your wisdom and knowledge and allowing us to become the YouTubers, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, holy crud. You get, you let us do these models, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to be real, like, it's a real pleasure to do this and be a part of this. And just, like, just have a chance, you know, of learning how this community works. And, like, how do you do everything from, like, tracking to, like, model creation to the rules to how to make it. You know, how to do it. Like, all oh, this is, like, incredible. It's absolutely incredible. And, and we appreciate you a lot. So much so a lot. You do a lot of good work, and you just don't get enough credit for it. You truly are, like, you know, just a hero to me and Gio, and thank you so much for that. Yeah, definitely. Overall, like, you inspire us so much to be eager true to ourselves and, like, try to own up to, like, a VTuber's act, because, like, before this, like, I, I never could act. I never could act in any way. And when I became a VTuber, you were giving me self-confidence and awareness. And, like, it made a chance to act. Thank you so much. Yes, yeah, sorry. I was really nervous and shy. I didn't know how to, like, obviously just express myself in a positive way online. I was, like, one of them, you know? Like, once they are attacking us, I used to just attack out of pure jealousy and anger. But, like, now I, I, I can be like this, and I can still do, like, pro freelance programming on the side, and you... I wish I could hug you right now. I want to hug you. I want to hug. But, like, I, I'm so many cities away. You're a good man, and you, you deserve a really good woman, and I'm, I'm sorry we had to miss, you know... You know, that one person and how she was chased away. That wasn't my... No, not right at all. Like, the free world for decrease. And they did this only because, like, obviously they just hate your guts. Why don't you hate them? I mean, in the long run, you should have every reason to hate them. Why don't you? That's my curious question. Like, 
He chooses to hate their actions and decisions and not outright them in general. What keeps you from like doing that? What, what gives you this willpower and strength not to hate people? Only their decisions and actions. Well, I guess I can talk about it. Like, why, why don't I hate people? Like, why do I hate their, like, decisions, actions, motivation? Why do they do what they do? Um, it makes me a better person. Does it make me a smarter person? It makes me a tougher person, a lot more tougher person. It makes me a better person, you know, hating actions instead of people or items or, you know, like, just, like, imagery. Like, I choose not to hate that or those, you know, and people. I just choose to hate people's decisions and why they go through with, like, these toxic, evil decisions to hurt other people or, like, abuse their trust or even like lie and slander their name, or even like call us freaking crazy. Like when they see like, oh, VTubers, they think, oh, that person's like crazy. Oh, they're crazy. They're using cartoon characters to create cartoons. And, and like, people do this all the time. Does anybody remember Looney Tunes? Does anybody remember Exo Squad? Does anybody remember cartoons on television? This is basically that, except for adults. More like Archer, or like, let's see here, uh, South Park, or The Simpsons, or something like that. Like, YouTubers are adult cartoons. I don't know what to tell y'all. Like, I choose not to hate these people because, like, they're just such belligerent fools that just don't know how to be human. Like, that's, that, that's the truth right there. They just don't know how to react and be human. And, like, it's so mind-boggling that these people are like like this and like they have never touched grass they have never gone out and met people they're probably like, like stuck in their houses you know like afraid to go outside and meet people and go like walk up to somebody and go like hi uh I, i'm human can, 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 can we be friends like they're kind of like that they give off that vibe when they do this stuff, and it's really disgusting. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I guess you would they, have to they be don't there to see it. You know? This is fun. All right. <laughs> I think we had a good chuckle at their expense. I've been Commander er, D, aka Commander Devin Lionheart. I've been Ashi Williams, of the C News Network. I'm Geo Strider, and obviously I'm still trying to figure out what uh, kind of original program I want to do. Uh, yeah, I think overall we should put this to a close. Why don't we do this all together in uh, three, two, one. We'll see we'll you on the next, next planet. Planet. Until next Bye -bye. time. Bye-bye. <laughs> so long.